Good afternoon, fellow travelers. Well, last night was the first night sleeping in the van, and if you watched the video previously, uh, it was my first day of my trip. Last night, I rolled into Florence, Kentucky, uh, about four hours into my drive. I had anticipated getting a little bit farther, but I ran into some bad expressway accident stuff. I sat on the expressway for over an hour and didn't even move. So I was ready to get off the road. Florence, Kentucky, let me tell you, is a gem. I went to three or four different places. I talked to a lot of people. Um, I even sat down with an older couple and they were just fantastic people. And I really, really, really liked the city of Florence. So in a weird way, it was kind of a cool thing to be able to stop off there. On this trip, I took the Hot Logic, the Mini Hot Logic. I have been using that primarily because well, I'm a little bit lazy. I like sticking the frozen meal right in it and three hours later, two to three hours later, got a nice hot meal. It has not failed me. It has been fantastic and I absolutely love the little thing. So to me, it's just even easier than pulling out a stove and pulling out a pot and getting utensils dirty and everything. Heck, I just stick that in there, a frozen meal, for me and Atkins usually because I'm on keto so I can generally keep the carbs down a little bit but anything like that or something prepared and put into the hot logic is fantastic it'll even cook from raw I'm loving the hot logic little thing I wish they'd sponsor us <laughs> but uh anyway really really cool been really enjoying it been popping meal after meal in it and I just had a wonderful breakfast this morning from it I did not sleep wonderfully though uh, we had a combined parking lot with a bus stop slash ride and go type of a situation where at about 5.30 in the morning it got pretty busy and a lot of cars and air brakes from buses that came in and there was a dumpster across the parking lot as well and that was getting used I think by Planet Fitness, I'm not really sure because there was a restaurant nearby too, but between all the noise and all the activity, because I, because when I went to bed, it was quiet and everything was solid and the parking lot was empty. But about 5.30, it started picking up. So what I did was I made the best of it. I got up, I went and got some coffee at McDonald's, wonderful coffee, came back to Planet Fitness. I got a good 30 minute workout in on the bikes. I used the massage table that they offer. Thing is wonderful got a wonderful shower in I like their showers uh, they even had this particular one had two levels and there was tons and tons of equipment a lot more than my home base store that's for sure and even in the locker rooms there were separate changing rooms which mine didn't have I think it has one and there were also like areas with hair dryers and plug-ins so you could go in and plug things in and shave and you know big mirrors and sinks and everything the other one well at least my home base one just has a couple sinks and a couple shower stalls and stuff but this one was like two notches up <laughs> very very happy uh i did stop in another planet fitness just to use a washroom to be honest uh, i stopped in and i i mapped these out on google maps on my map on google maps and uh i put uh, Planet Fitness in for like every hour and a half so my next goal today is to hit Bowling Green Kentucky and if I make it to Bowling Green and I get a second wind later in the day I'll continue that that journey on and see how much farther past Bowling Green I can get but I'm not really rushing myself I've, I've given myself two and a half days to get down there and it's a 12 hour drive I've probably got about five hours in already. I'm at a rest stop right now in Kentucky. I don't know exactly what city, but I'm about two hours away from Bowling Green. And I'm gonna close my eyes for about 20, 30 minutes here in the parking lot. And then I'll continue on. I'm not even gonna jump in the bed. I'm just gonna recline the seat back, close my eyes for a little bit, get a little more rest. I think that's about it for now. Uh, I will do a quick update and wrap it up and upload this tonight as to how far I did get and uh, we'll just have to see how far the journey takes me but Florence Kentucky very impressed with it really liked it 
We'll see what Bowling Green's like, and I'm going to, like I said, Planet Fitness, and I'll probably hit a few of the stores right around there and whatnot, just kind of get a feel for the place. But all on that journey down to Clarksdale, Mississippi. Okay, real quick, part of the tour the other day that we didn't get to was all my window covers are tucked behind the dresser here. And I also have a small little fold-out table, mainstays table. Got that from Walmart. Really, really nice, really handy. Wanted to talk a little bit about this. It's a microfiber towel. It's called Dry Snugs. Oh my gosh. It's like one-fifth the size of a regular towel. You're almost like chamois off your body like a car. It's a microfiber, very thin, dries immediately. Been using this at Planet Fitness. Fits right into my little tiny carry-on bag that I have. I have this over-the-shoulder bag where a regular towel would not fit. And uh, I highly recommend these. I saw this on a RV channel and uh, somebody was saying they use these when they camp. So I figured I'll give them a try. And I'll tell you what, they are pretty darn nice. Now, top drawer, just a lot of essentials. Body wipes, face wipes, my medicines, my little travel bag that I take in when it has toothpaste, deodorant, things like that. There's my deodorant. I also carry some Tide Pods and some fabric sheets, a little bit of TP for that little emergency toilet that I never want to have to use. Uh, <laughs> I've got a little, uh, a little vanity mirror down there. It's kind of cool. These bottles I absolutely love. This one's just water. These are Mr. Bottles. I don't know if we'll be able to see it. Just hold it and it mists. This one I'm not going to spray because it's vinegar. I use that to clean things. <laughs> but that's my top drawer. Back here I've got my Atlas. And behind my Atlas, I have all the manuals for the things that I use in the, the car. Kind of weird like that. I like to keep the manuals and I like to refer to them often. So, and I'm kind of weird with label makers too. The other thing I do is I label maker everything. So, the Alpi Cool has its own label. And what's this? This is a 500 watt progeny. So basically, yes, I use my labeler like crazy. Let's see what's in the next drawer. This is kind of kitchen. I've got a kitchen towel, I've got some pistachios, some coffee additives, random salt, pepper, hot sauce, mayo, tons of spices, toothpicks, salt and pepper, a couple Kroger bags, can't go around for those. This time I just chose to use some plastic stuff and some paper plates plastic paper plates and everything love this lighter don't need it at this particular point because we are um, not using the stove or anything but it is electric and it's usb rechargeable love 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 this thing can't even tell you how many of those little butane lighters i've had click it 60 times and lucky to get it to start and then half the time it runs out of fluid frustrating. A little bit of aluminum foil. What's in the bottom one? Oh, that's right. Uh, Stacy got me some Diet Pops and stuff for the trip. And I figured in the base of this, the heavier the better. So I put all the pops down there. Now, one of the things I had a couple questions on was this little tray that I have my CPAP sitting on. This was all Stacy. This was her idea. My CPAP is big and heavy. I'd like to get a travel CPAP eventually. But here's the thing. And by the way, the stupid car tray makes a sanitizer, a stupid sanitizer. Spray and go sanitizer kills 99% of germs. And the cool thing about this is you can refill it. And if it's right in the slot, and then you still have the other slot for like pencils, pens, scissors, whatever. So this is what Stacy's idea was. 
this thing has two legs on it. We had some foam pipe insulation. So she kind of cut it and she stuck it in the cup holder and she pushed it down and it kind of held in place. And then there's a little section back here. It's another big hole where you could just store things. She took a little hand towel and that other piece of foam that we had. This is again, just a pipe insulator type of piece of foam. She stuffed those in there and up under this tray, it's just flat. So when she put it over, she put it over, pushed it down, put the weight of this big, probably five pound CPAP up against it. Now this thing is backwards on here because the hose comes out. And if I turned it around to the front faced, then the hose would be sticking out like this much, you know, and that's just gonna kink it up and make it a mess. So I set it up here backwards uh, with the hose sticking out and the power cord sticking out. But here's the thing, the power cord sitting up under here, I don't know how she had it exactly. She had it up under here. Everything was tucked away and doing good. I have been driving with this for well over seven hours now. Has not moved because the weight sits over the top of that and that cup holder part with that little piece of foam in it. Hasn't even moved. This thing is all grippy, super grippy. So the CPAP itself does not slide, does not move. That whole shelf's gonna move before that CPAP moves. It's just an ingenious little way to use this shelf in the back of a Dodge Grand Caravan if you have something like this. And uh, somebody had asked me, how did we get it to stay? Well, that's how we got it to stay. And then I think she had actually used one of the pillows to kind of prop up the corner, but I don't even know that that was necessary, but I have the pillows back here anyway. So anyway, for those that were wondering about that, seeing that CPAP on this shelf like this, or using the shelf for something else. That's what we did, how we did it. Just a couple little pieces of pipe insulation foam. <laughs> you know, that's kind of the way it comes at Home Depot and you could buy a freaking eight, 10 foot piece of it for like under two bucks. And we just chopped it and for there, she just used it because she had that extra piece. But for the cup holder, she put it around the foot, this foot and uh, it just made it fit snugly in that cup holder. So anyway, hopefully those things helped a little bit to see a little bit more of the car. Hey guys, it's pretty late here. I just pulled into Jackson, Tennessee. I traveled from Florence, Kentucky to Jackson, Tennessee, about six hour drive tonight. I'm going to camp out here at Planet Fitness. Going to go in and get a quick workout, use their massage table. I love that thing. Camp out here in the back of the parking lot. And in the morning, get up, do another workout, get another massage table in, and get a good shower in. And then I'm going to be heading down to that Clarksdale, Mississippi. So I've gone from Michigan to tomorrow, finishing out, getting to Mississippi, Clarksdale. About a 12, 13-hour drive all together. Had a few construction issues, had a few traffic issues. I think that's pretty normal, though. Um, enjoying the trip, enjoying the camper van. Going to try and get a little more sleep tonight. I'm going to look around and see if there's anything that might be waking me up at 5.30 like yesterday in Florence, Kentucky there. We had a dumpster and a bus stop and a park and ride shared in the same parking lot. And that got really active and really busy about 5.30 in the morning. So I'm hoping here it's a little quieter in the back of the lot. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me. And I've included some stuff in this video that we missed from the quick tour yesterday. And I've had a few questions about that CPAP table that I'm using in the back. And I'll tell you what, that thing is working wonderfully. I'm even driving with that on for six hours, seven hours. Never has moved, hasn't even, you know, moved a quarter of an inch and it stays stable and I've had you know some turns here and there and stuff where even the dresser was moving around a little bit but that CPAP stand and that CPAP on the stand back there has stayed solid so pretty happy with that anyway 
check in tomorrow or the next day I'll throw up something from that festival uh, maybe do a little bit of the music that's there and run into my brother and run into Kingfish things like that so uh, look re looking real forward to this festival this weekend and then I'll be heading home probably Saturday or Sunday and take my time getting home I, I generally drive about three to five hours a day today was a little longer about six hours total I actually broke it up a little bit so thanks for hanging with me and uh, come back for more later and uh, I want to do a really good full van tour too this one was way too rushed and I was just trying to get out the door to get on the road and I didn't even have half of the things I wanted to get in here in here I don't even have my stove I don't have my camp kitchen I don't have a lot of things with me I just I've been using that hot logic and I'll tell you what it's been fantastic uh, I've been making just plain cold sandwiches with uh, just bread and lunch meat straight out of the Alpicool um, doing really good with all that so you know that's keeping me going for now so thanks for hanging out with me and uh, check back for more and hopefully y'all having a great adventure bye